good evening to everyone today the clinical case presentation on, on bleeding for rectum i am dr kishan soni mch resident from department of surgical oncology institute of medical science bhu first patient details a 52 year male patient who is married muslim a private shop owner resident of chandoli up presented to our surgical oncology opd with bleeding for rectum since 6 month and anorexia since 4 month weight loss since 4 month patient was apparently all right 6 month back to start with she noticed bleeding for rectum during defecation which is insidious onset pale less fresh red color small in amount not mixed with stool initially patient used to pass blood at the interval of about 3 to 4 day but for last 2 month patient is passing a small amount of blood every time during defecation after 2 month of starting this symptom bleeding pr the patient also noticed anorexia and weight loss almost 8 kg 8 kg in last 4 month for this specific complaint patient went to the local hospital but not taken any treatment from where he referred to the our hospital the patient has no history of fever <coughs> so whenever you were talking about uh, bleeding per rectum you said it is not mixed with stool sir and it is fresh red in color fresh red in color Sp- okay. uh, splash in the pen sir. it's a splash in the pen yes sir okay so that is what you are yes, saying so that means you are talking about Uh, hematochezia that is occurring after <coughs> passage of the stool stool yes sir so that means he passes the stool first first yes and sir then then and then and then fresh red color blood so this should be yes. very clear from your history P- patient has no history of fever pain malina constipation obstipation or abdominal excessive mucus discharge per rectum fecal incontinence urinary symptoms jaundice backache cough dyspnea and altered sensorium there is no history of similar complaint in past also patient has no comorbidity no history of tuberculosis or no history of surgical intervention in the past patient had married two children mixed diet sleep pattern is normal history of tobacco since since 30 year it's daily 5 to 6 time in a small amount there is no history of smoking or alcohol intake there is no history of similar complaint in family members and also there is no history of any malignancy in the family member including first degree and second degree relatives there is no history of any medication on summarizing my history a 52 year male with a painless fresh bleeding per rectum since 6 month associated with anorexia and weight loss with no features suggestive of fecal incontinence or obstruction with no family history of any general examination the examiners was done after taking informed consent patient was altered patient was alert conscious cooperative well oriented to time place and person ecog 1 the height of patient is 170 cm with weight 55 kg and bmi is 19.03 kg per meter square F fibril pulse is 82 per minute in right radial artery regular rhythm normal character bp is 1 118 by 80 mmhg measured in right upper limb in supine position respiratory rate is 16 per minute thoraco abdominal regular patient having pelar with no ecteras clubbing sinusitis edema and no generalized or supraclavicular lymphadenopathy abdomen examination the abdomen is flat umbilicus is centrally placed inverted all quadrant moving equally with the respiration no fullness anywhere in the abdomen with no visible scar mark dilated veins peristalsis or sinuses all hernial sites are normal intact and external genitalia are normal palpation of abdomen no rise of temperature non tender no organomegaly no inguinal lymphadenopathy no sign of free fluid in the abdomen and on auscultation bowel sound is present normally during dre with informed consent patient is in left lateral position with thigh and knee are well flexed uh the inspection of the perianal re- region there is no scar sinus fistula fissure or skin tag then up then a fin- gloved finger with well lubricated insert index finger inserted into the anal canal the anal tool is normal and a mass felt 6 cm above the anal bulge circumference circumferentially firm consistency non tender irregular surface ill defined margin mobile finger negotiated but the upper margin could not felt and finger is stained with the blood at the same time on proctoscopy this finding is confirmed and due to the confirmed that irregular surface margin inverted and raised which is friable in bleeding bleeding uh, during examination the systemic examination revealed no uh, significant abnormality have you missed out anything <coughs> in your digital rectal examination Actually, he has missed out two things. Yes, sir. yes, I agree. I agree. 
so uh, in what conditions would you find the rise of temperature local rise of temperature where colitis. when what colitis i mean case of colitis and diverticulitis and diverticulitis, and diverticulitis. Yeah. And the, what else can you find in a patient who is having diverticulitis sometimes as a complication? Perforation, ma'am. Perforation can occur. Okay, now come to what Tarun was asking you. For rectal, what did you miss? Anyone else? Ma'am, uh, looking for any uh, looking for deposits, ma'am. Uh, like uh, if you can appreciate uh, through parietally, there is any deposits. Ma'am, prostate, ma'am. Kesha was right. There is no comment on prostate. Yes, there should be prostate and mobility posteriorly on the sacrum or presacral fissure. Sir, patient, uh, that uh, is mobile, sir, from sacrum and from posterior over the prostate okay. also. You should you should mention you should mention it to begin with. I mean, you should mention it as a part of the exam. You mean to say prostate is felt separately? Uh, sir, lower part of the prostate should not. Uh, I, I am not able to reach the upper part of the prostate, sir. But it's felt. Uh, six but centimeter, you can very well feel the prostate. Six when the growth is palpable at six centimeters, anterior you will feel the prostate. The prostate is felt, but I will not uh, able to feel the upper margin of the prostate, sir. Actually, on yes. summarizing my history and examination, a 52 year male with painless fresh bleeding per rectum since six months, associated with anorexia and weight loss, with no features suggestive of fecal incontinence or obstruction, with no family history of malignancy, having pelar, and on DRE that. Uh, Ulcero proliferative felt starting 6 cm above the anal was circumferentially non tender irregular surface, ill defined margin, mobile, uh, upper margin could not felt, and bleeds on touch with no feeder such, uh, uh, with no inguinal lymphadenopathy and distant metastasis. By above findings, my provisional diagnosis is carcinoma rectum without obstruction, sphincter dysfunction, and distant metastasis. Kishan, whenever you have a bleeding per rectum, sir, there are two things that you have to look at. One is the frequency of bleeding, that how frequent is the okay. bleeding, and second is the amount of bleeding. Last two months, every time during defecation, patient has a bleeding, but before that, it's how a... much is the how much is the quantity of the bleed? Why it uh, is important to know when the when there is a passage of fresh blood after the stool? Why it is important to know the quantity of the blood pass? What did what does quantity tells you? Ma'am, uh, first I first uh, in bleeding per rectum. Uh, that is the hemorrhoids. Hemorrhoids. Uh, how, how is the bleeding in hemorrhoids? It's my, my, uh, it is not mixed with the stool, but after uh, defecation, it's dropping the blood in uh, uh, over the stools, ma'am. And it is painless. Diverticulitis. Don't get and, uh, carried so away. Is... Sony, don't get carried away. See, the kind of bleeding that you are dis describing is the bleeding that occurs after passage of stool. Right? Yes, sir. So, normally, <laughs> the two commonest causes of this is hemorrhoids, as you said, and then diverticulosis, and so as you said, and the third will be a colonic malignancy sir. or a rectal malignancy. Yes, sir. Okay. These are the three differential diagnoses. These are going to come here. <laughs> And fissure doesn't cause that much bleeding and it is a very yes. painful uh, defecation Situation. in a constipated patient. Tell me the definition of a diarrhea. What is diarrhea and what is constipation? Uh, the passing of loose stool uh, more than three times uh, in a day. Yes, very right. It's the WHO definition. <laughs> and uh, so, what uh, about constipation? That normal frequency of defecation is ma'am three times per week to per uh, per day to per week. About this, uh, consider as passing a hard stool. Uh, less than three times a week for a moment. Week per week is a constipation. Yes, yes, true, correct. What is tenismus? It is a painful uh, urge to pass uh, to defecate, sir, or discomfort. Anything Plus, else? Plus. Yes, there is. Hmm. And filling up incomplete evacuation, sir. Uh, very even important. Even when you pass tools, even when you pass tools, you feel like passing it. Okay. <laughs> How will you now? Now, what will you do in this case, sir? Uh, first, I will go. Uh, first, I will go for the all routine blood investigation with serum marker, and at the same time, when I do a proctoscopy, uh, uh, biopsy was taken, uh, and. Then for the local staging of the tumor, 
I prefer that MRI pelvis and if, to rule out uh, any distant metastasis go for a CT chest and abdomen, CCT chest and abdomen and uh, also to rule out synchronous uh, lesion in the rectum colonoscopy is, uh, colonoscopy is done. Sir. So you should say that we will uh, proceed to investigate and stage the disease, confirm the diagnosis and also <laughs> Uh, general examination, uh, the general uh, investigations of the patient. Yes, ma'am. Is there three categories? Karke bolna. So, TK, <coughs> what did you find? So, I find, ma'am, that a biopsy of this uh, lesion is the well differentiated adenocarcinoma. And all routine blood investigation is within normal limit with the CA is high, that is 31.62 nanogram per ml. Uh, ECG 2D co chest x ray is within normal limit. limit. And uh, MRI pelvis. That MRI pelvis so uh, a circumferential growth. You find you found a normal hemoglobin in this patient. Having a bleeding cannot have a normal blood investigation. <coughs> so. so at least anemia will be present. 8.5 is not a normal. What is the normal hemoglobin expected in a this age male? For male. In an adult male, it's about 14 gram per deciliter is the sure. expected hemoglobin. Then this is the MRI picture. This is the axial section T2 weighted image, sir. We saw that the circumferential growth which involve the transmural and pericolorectal tissues, but the mesorectal fossa is intact. There is no breach to the mesorectal fossa in this case. Also, prostate is not infiltrated in this, this tumor. And there is some uh, few lymph nodes also present, which is as a hypodense. Like a hypotension and round uh, in come the to the previous image. Come to the previous image to show. Come to come on the previous previous slide. So what is it anteriorly? Anteriorly, what is that uh, white white uh, layer you see, and what is the dark layer you see? Sir, this white layer, this white is the mesorectum, sir. Right. This is mesorectum, and these two are ves uh, seminal vesicles. This is prostate, sir. This is a T two weighted sagittal section. We saw there is circumferential growth with luminal narrowing and the prostate is uh, separate sir, from the lesion. So, the colonoscopy finding is the circumferential ulceroproliferative lesion starting 5 cm from NN watch causing luminal narrowing extending up to the 12 cm proximally. A scope negotiated with mild uh, difficulty and rest colon is normal. And CCT thorax and abdomen shows no lesion in lungs, liver, no lymphadenopathy. So, according to all this investigation, my clinical staring is CT3, N1B and M0, stress 3B, carcinoma rectum. Your clinical examination showed it to be at 6 cm. Your colonoscopy showed it to be 5 cm. So when you are going to talk to me about surgery planning, which one of the two are you going to take? Or the question is, how do you evaluate the distance from the anal verge for planning the surgery? To measure sir, uh, the distance of the tumor from the anal verge for planning surgery. Rigid sigmoidoscope, sir. Rigid sigmoidoscope, correct. And if you don't have a rigid sigmoidoscope, it's low down, so proctoscope. <coughs> proctoscope, sir. So your rigid proctoscope are used for. So, so you have not measured your distance on the proctoscopy. You should have measured. Yes, sir. Because because that is what you are going to be requiring when you are going to plan the surgery. Yes, a proctoscopy I have measured, sir. That is 6 centimeters, sir. Same as your finger? Yes, sir. Same as my finger. Okay. How do you define the CRM on MRI? Ma'am, CRM, that is a two concept, ma'am. That CRM is involved, or CRM is uh, clear, ma'am. That is the less than 1 mm uh, distance between the tumor margin and the mesorectal fossa is involved. We consider it as an involved CRM. And if the uh, distance between these two is more than 1 mm, it is considered that the C CRM is free. And for lower rectal cancer, ma'am, the difference is from not uh, mesorectal facet is a levator and I. The plan now? Sir, uh, so uh, that MRI is showing that it's a locally advanced disease with lymph nodal involvement. Uh, that I proceed uh, by a new adjuvant therapy first, then restaging the disease. And uh, according to that, I will plan surgery, sir. What kind okay. of new adjuvant therapy are you talking about? In this case, sir, uh, uh, either short course uh, radiotherapy is also effective and uh, that uh, uh, concurrent chemo radiotherapy long course is uh, both are uh, equally effective sir in this case because CRM is not involved. 
So what do you prefer? What will you do? That's the long course is always better, sir, because it's uh, give a good uh, down staging of the tumor. Uh, it's what are the benefits? Stage. What are the benefits of new adjuvant chemo radiation in C rectum? So that new adjuvant chemo radiation will uh, reduce the chances of uh, local recurrence, also to improve disease-free survival and uh, overall survival, sir. It improves overall survival. Yes, sir. If new adjuvant chemo radiation uh, uh, is given, sir. So uh, tell me the studies that show significant studies that tell you that uh, overall survival is improved. That's from uh, one is a German trial, ma'am. Uh, German trial did not show benefit of overall survival. Neither did it show benefit of DFS. It only showed decreased local recurrence. There are some studies, sir. We saw recent randomized trials sir, in uh, given. Tell me, tell me the protocol. Tell me the protocol you will follow for new adjuvant treatment, whatever you're giving. And one thing to add if you quote yes. studies, you have to know them. You have to yes, defend sir. them by properly <clears throat> where it was published and who is the main author. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Tell what Tarun that's is asking. The hmm. short course radiotherapy, sir. Five gray per day for you said long course. You said long course just now. Okay, so long course is total uh, total radiation dose is fifty point four gray, sir. It is given in mm. one point eight to two point two every day for twenty five to twenty eight fraction uh, within five uh, five five or five point five week with concurrent ca capacitor beam that is eight twenty five milligram per meter square BD dose, sir. Right. What is the radiation field in this? Uh, the radiation field uh, is, sir, uh, was at the lateral pelvic wall, uh, uh, posteriorly that uh, presacral fossa, anteriorly uh, if it is a female then vagina, in main there is a prostate and also it involves the internal iliac lymph node, sir. Superior inferior? Uh, superiorly, sir, uh, 5 centimeter above the uh, uh, margin of the tumor and uh, below uh, uh, 2 uh, up to two centimeter uh, could be considered, sir. Superiorly, it's a sacral promontory. Inferiorly, it's the anal words. And laterally, of course, as you said, including the uh, yes, uh, internal iliac nodes. Yes. So, to best of my knowledge, German trial was a landmark trial which initiated the concept of new adjuvant chemo radiation. But I do not think it showed any benefit of overall survival. So, what are the other benefits or advantages of giving new adjuvant chemo radiation? Also, sir, to downstate the disease, also uh, that uh, sphincter preservation, uh, uh, chances of sphincter preservation. Right. The pathological complete response we get, sir. So, weight and watch policy is also, in, uh, according to Heber Gamma trial, sir, weight and watch policy. That was not a trial. That was just, that was just incidental cases which, which recovered sir. completely, they were observed. Tell me something. Why do you want to give radiation for rectum and not for colon? Suppose the lesion was. 10 centimeter above. Will you manage? Will you agree to the same plan which you have made now? For the upper uh, upper rectum or uh, I mean pelvic colon, will you will you follow the same plan? What is what is special in rectum that you want to give radi you, you want to radiate this disease first and not radiate something which is which is higher up? It's a circumferential margin. CRM. He, it says you want to make the CRM, you want a negative CRM, you want to make the uh, sterility of margin, what you say. Because it doesn't, lower rectum is not peritonalized organ. So when it comes to adjuvant therapy in a T3 <laughs> uh, and any rectal cancer, you have so many options. Yes, sir. Why did you choose uh, concurrent chemo RT? Most of the protocol says... What are the other options? What are the other options in this category? Uh, giving in radiotherapy, uh, new adjuvant radiotherapy followed by uh, uh, surgery, TME, and then go for adjuvant chemotherapy, sir. Did you hear about uh, new adjuvant m fox 6 modified for fox 6 as new adjuvant in T3NEN? What is total new adjuvant therapy? Yes, ANT, which is becoming very popular uh -huh. now. Yes, ma'am. Ma it is uh, giving uh, uh, all the treatment, that is the chemo radiation and also the chemotherapy is complete. It is total new agent chemotherapy. Mostly it's a rapido trial is, uh, that is a rapido trial, ma'am, that uh, compare that uh, total new agent com uh, chemotherapy to long cost chemo artists. That is especially relevant if uh, the CRM is threatened or already involved. CRM is threatened. So, mainly to, uh, 
in uh, total neurogen therapy means uh, in this uh, total neurogen therapy mem we are uh, try to uh, avoid that micrometastasis before the surgery ma'am so we start chemotherapy uh, in neurogen joint setup if there is a high chances of uh, distant distant metastasis and when do you choose perioperative chemotherapy basically you have three options here you have options to go for new adjuvant concurrent chemo rt you have <laughs> option to go for perioperative chemotherapy you have a option to go for total new adjuvant chemotherapy which of the three options are you going to choose and where are you going to choose which option sir for upper rectal cancer sir perioperative can be tried sir uh, because it more behaves like a colon and uh, for uh, mid rectum and lower rectum uh, the most important uh, mid rectum and lower rectum sir the first preference is uh, that uh, uh, new agent uh, chemo rt sir that uh, new agent chemo radiation will uh, decrease the chances of local recurrence and uh, uh, disease free survival sir but uh, if only chemotherapy is given that uh, chances of uh, that uh, down staging of the tumor is not that much and uh, and that disease to survival are not uh, that much effective as compared to sir, that new adjuvant chemo yeah uh, uh, ek minute sony i am not very sure if only new adjuvant chemotherapy is any longer recommended it's always uh, either chemo short RT, course man. or chemo rt huh, long or short course sandwiched with uh, chemotherapy or total new adjuvant therapy you can summarize for us uh, sony and what are the yeah. advantages of giving a new adjuvant uh, therapy in any patient which may include RT also. There are three, three types of new urgent therapy, ma'am. That is short course radiotherapy with early surgery, short course radiotherapy with delayed surgery, and long course chemo RT, ma'am. Concurrent chemo RT, ma'am. If the disease is locally advanced and CRM is threatened, uh, so we prefer that uh, long course chemo RT, ma'am, because the, uh, before surgery, we uh, try to downstage the disease. Also, uh, we make the CRM free so that the local recurrence rate will uh decrease ma'am but if uh, in like in this case ma'am t3n1 and crm is free we can go for a short course radiotherapy followed by early surgery because crm is free whether we operate uh, now or after six weeks that crm is free ma'am so it is not affect that local recurrence but uh, when we go for a short course radiotherapy with early surgery there are chances of uh, wound complications are more ma'am and in the delayed uh, CRT and uh, the result of that uh, short course radiotherapy with uh, delayed surgery and uh, long course chemo RT is same. So mainly when we want to downstage the disease or uh, uh, sphincter preservation, we wait for some time so that the radiation will affect the tumor and uh, it will downstage and uh, CRM uh, will free and uh, sphincter will free. Man. What problems the patient will have on RT? What are the common problems patients, such patients have when they are on RT? Uh, there's a perennial wound complication, sir. First. No, no. Why not RT? When not operated before surgery on RT? What are the common adverse effects of radiation in this region? It's a radiation-induced diarrhea, sir. Bleeding. Uh, also, uh, during surgery, there is a fibrosis or uh, adhesions between the structures. How do you treat radiation proctitis? Steroid, uh, that is a steroid enema, sir, mainly. It's, you have to give, basically, it's, it's metrogel, you give metrogel and enema, which are given in ulcerative colitis, I mean, yes, self allergy not that treatment, and of course, with lopramine. So, after how much time after radiation will you evaluate this? What will you do after radiation? After radiation, sir, uh, that five to six weeks, again, I have to restate the disease by MRI. Uh, the, uh, so when will you repeat, repeat an MRI after radiation? That five to six weeks, sir. After five to six weeks. What happens if you wait, if you do, if you do it earlier? Uh, before earlier, sir, there is a radiation induced changes, sir. There is inflammatory changes also there. So it will uh, uh, affect the, uh, our uh, diagnosis, sir. This staging, sir, if CRM is free, <clears throat> so I will plan for total uh, mesorectal excision. In this case, total mesorectal excision with uh, uh, low, anti low anterior resection, sir, and uh, colo uh, rectal anastomosis, sir. Will you do a diabetic angiostomy in this case? Uh, yes, sir. Why? 
because uh, we are given a radiotherapy sir so chances of failing is uh, poor and uh, if uh, patient having any leak so delay of the adjuvant therapy uh, will lead to again uh, uh, progress that uh, uh, that uh, dhp survival and overall survival is uh, decrease sir then how, how does leak affects overall survival sir due to leak we are not able to give a chemotherapy or radiotherapy sir uh, if we are not giving okay. prior radiotherapy then it will uh, delay the surgery sir and every four week of delay that adjuvant therapy will decrease the uh, overall survival 14% sir so how do you test the integrity of uh, the anastomosis on table and there is a air leak test ma'am uh, air leak test and is there anything else can be used for any gi anastomosis checking the vascularity of the anastomosis so what are the things that you will look for in the pathological report <clears throat> sir first uh, the uh, that the type of the malignancy sir grade uh, then t involvement that uh, layers of uh, t involvement n involvement lvi pni also positive lymph number of lymph nodes with positive lymph nodes crm is complete or not crm is involved or not and the response sir that uh, if you give a new adjuvant therapy so response assessment sir define tme it is area surrounding the rectum which include the uh, vessels lymphatics and uh, uh, fibrofatty tissues sir which encircle the rectum anything else who described tme for the first time so what are love you encounter while doing a tme <coughs> Melis of that hypogastric. This you have to include in the part of your definition. It's the fibrofatty tissue between the two layers of uh, fascia propria and valgus fascia, which you go down, yeah, preserving the three, preserving the three nerves. Which are the three nerves? The hypogastric plexus, sir. Right. And uh, sacral plexus. Where is sacral plexus? Just uh, behind that. Uh, 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 presacral fascias you never go you never dig into the presacral fascia so how will you see those nerves what are tumor deposits <clears throat> sir it is a, a small tumor a small tumor sir which is uh, which is present in the non peritoneal surface within the lymphatic area of the tumors and uh, it is uh, not in the lymph nodes sir around the lateral lateral pedicle what nerve do you get nervi argentis sir Right, right. And what's the third one? Sympathetic fiber, sir. Right. Where does that come? <coughs> that is L three, four, five, sir. Just say again. L one, L two, L three. I'm not sure, sir. Actually, for sympathetic fiber. Also, you tell us where you are more likely to damage these nerves, <coughs> the sites where you should be very careful. Now that hypogastric plexus, uh, uh, that hypogastric plexus is mainly damaged during uh, that posterior dissection, ma'am. When we Post dissection posterior the, ke pehle, when you are ligating the inferior mesenteric artery, yes. is there any precaution required? First to see the uh, yeah, hypogastric plexus, ma'am, and then uh, we uh, uh, tie that inferior gastric, uh, inferior uh, mesenteric artery and bend, ma'am. No high ligation is also, ma'am. We usually uh, leave a centimeter of uh, the artery. Mm -hmm. No high ligation. No. And what are the other sites you must be careful? When this uh, these two uh, hypogastric nerves uh, mm, goes midly to the uh, ureter and uh, then go for lateral pelvic wall and just above the seminal vesicle, it's uh, join the nervi argentis uh, nerve and go for the uh, and join the sympathetic. It is before. Nerve. It is before the seminal vesicles. It is before the seminal vesicle. Below the seminal vesicle, it it uh, it it's a third pedicle that is which comes on the anterior lateral wall of the bladder. I'm forgetting the name, whether it's sympathetic or parasympathetic, but it's, it's below that level. Below that level, it comes. So so how uh, as Madam said, first is while ligating it. Second is. Second at the that uh, dissection uh, uh, near the seminal vesicle, sir. Uske pehle, retrorectal, retrorectal jab uthate hai, there is a plane. There is a plane between the presacral fascia and fascia the and nerves the... and between the nerves and the uh, rectum. So you have to yes, be sir. very careful not to lift the 
nerves Nerve. along with the rectum and then the third area anterior dissection ma'am uh, near the seminal vesicle to the lateral ligaments of the rectum so what, what how will the patient present you if you have damaged the hypogastric nerves mainly sir urinary complaint and that uh, that sexual complaint that is a tight dysfunction urinary or sexual they have very typical differences mainly sir urinary complaint sir no hypogastric hypogastric damage to hypogastric nerve comes with retrograde ejaculation sir the complaint of dry ejaculation yes it's a lateral pelvic nerve or the nervi urgentis where the patient comes with urinary complaint urinary ah so you have to read the parasympathetic and sympathetic supply and their functions yes otherwise you'll not be able to differentiate yes and there is one more nerve that you can damage while doing the apr perineal dissection pudendum this you, you should you must have it on hand as a pearl yes ma'am. will you address the interhaliac nodes in this case uh, no sir because uh, total oh. neurogen uh, because neurogen chemotherapy will uh, affect that uh, uh, lymph node sir will affect that lymph node what do you mean will uh, will control that uh, lymphatic medicine uh, internal iliac ma'am suppose they do not resolve when there are a few lymph nodes in the lateral pelvic wall what then do we'll you do for Yes, ma'am. If the if the after giving a neurogen therapy, if the lymph node size is more than seven mm, so and uh, uh, round shape, then we'll go for a uh, lateral lymph node dissection. I think if there are obvious lymph nodes, it is better to do a lateral pelvic. Yes, ma'am. So, Doctor Sony, why is the word moving towards uh, TNT or total neurogen therapy? Because sir, that uh, total neurogen therapy is a high compliance, sir. and also the chances of pathological complete response and down and down staging of the tumor is more can you have you read any of the clinical trials that has been That's done that's rapido or... trial sir yes sir that rapido trial sir and uh, any trials which are going on that you know of i heard that prodigy sir prodigy uh, trial prodigy is on going or it has finished so how far down you will go in clearing your while doing a tme how far like you know how much of the medial rectum you will take below the lead sir 2 cm distal uh, margin is enough sir uh, that is the mucosal margin i am asking on the margin in the medial rectum that is more than 2 mm sir clearance in the medial rectum no no no, no. 2 mm kya bol rahe ho how far below the lower extent of tumor doing an lo lar will you dissect the medial rectum 5 cm below ma'am Ah, right. Five centimeter. Five centimeter below. So, how do you know that? Will you know that your gross specimen that you have dissected out is complete? That the TME is complete. Ma'am, the the TME is ma'am uh, bilobed structures, ma'am. Mainly the uh, uh, anterior side is smooth and the posterior side is uh, uh, there are fibrofatty. No, what is bilobed structures? This is wrong statement. Oh. Malika, I think he has not read the anatomy, so he doesn't know. But a rectum is all about anatomy only. Yeah, but he has not read anatomy. What are rectal buttocks? As you raise the specimen, you will know whether it is uh, properly raised or not. <clears throat> Why in uh, large tumors of lower rectum an ELAP procedure is, uh, you know, preferred? Ma'am, because the conventional APR, ma'am, there is high chances of uh, positive uh, positive CRM and chances of perforation of the tumor is more, ma'am. So what goes wrong? Where do you actually violate the uh, CRM there? Ye padna padega. You have not read it. So there is a cylindrical specimen that comes out of an ELAP procedure. Yeah. Yeah. NCCN defines four five criteria where you judge you judge the completeness of a resection. On the specimen, so it's a like the baby's buttocks. When you when you pull the inferior mesenteric uh, artery, and this the shiny fascia which is shows the completeness, cylindrical specimen. There are two three more in. You should know it. Suppose after new adjuvant treatment, you have have a tumor sitting just one centimeter above the dentate line. What will you do? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, there is a procedure. Ma'am, intraspectral resection is also there, ma'am. Uh, so what do you resect and the external sphincter or the internal sphincter yeah, internal sphincter ma'am ha huh? internal one? sphincter internal internal sphincter ma'am <clears throat> what is the major post operative 
a problem or a problem with this procedure uh, there is a fecal incontinence ma'am fecal incontinence sir why i just uh, why because there is a normal resting tone of the rectum is lost sir no you preserved the external sphincter how is it lost no no there is no rectum here my dear rectum is out you have to talk only about the, the sphincters ml canal then that uh, uh, normal resting tone of the anal sphincter is lost ma'am uh, in this case or also newer joint therapy also affect the functional outcome of the sphincter joint therapy you are giving in most of your cases so do you get this problem in any other cases why specifically with inter sphincter dissection you have fecal incontinence what is internal sphincter made up of that is a, a circular uh, that uh, circular layer of the rectum which continues as internal sphincter now what circular layer of rectum does it have a muscle name layer. Uh, do you know the uh, all the muscles of the pelvic floor what we yes, call levator and i it has various parts yes ma'am see rectal rectal mucosa also has a inherent property of differentiating between air gas and liquid or feces so once in isr you almost take out all of rectal mucosa so a person cannot differentiate whether it's the flatus or it's the feces he wants to pass that's why there is fecal soiling what do you prefer doing in such cases whether you want to do whether isr is better or apr is better sir apr is better sir why because leaking perineum is uh, worse than a permanent stoma sir it's a mainly sir patient choice sir we counsel the patient and uh, tell the everything uh, regarding that uh, complication of isr then so you have to look at the age of the patient also yes sir if a 70 year old 80 year old patient comes to you will you do a in a in a, in a very appropriate no, case no ma'am it's apr think... is better in this case define yeah. circumferential resection margin yes sir define circumferential resection margin crm <clears throat> sir it is a, a radial margin from the it is a, a radial margin from the edge of the tumor to mesorectal fossa sir so when do you call it positive and when do you call it negative when the the different the gap between these two is less than 1 mm it is a positive crm and if it is more than 1 mm uh, then it is a clear crm so what will you do now after you done and so you said you will do a lar with a diverting ileostomy yes sir <clears throat> so now what will you do then sir uh, after uh, four week when patient is stable then we'll go for a adjuvant chemotherapy preferably with folfox or capox both uh, any one of them uh, folfox or capox for six month any molecular testings you will be doing uh, yes sir in, in every case uh, ca rectum that msi and mmr should be tested sir according to nccn and if it is a metastatic disease then ras mutations and uh, ras mutation also that uh, ntrk gene mutations also oh, sir sir which are the four molecular markers that need to be tested that's k k ras n ras uh, braf and ha2 sir k ras n ras braf and ha2 no so what about acha okay sir so, ntrk user ntrk okay. yes sir so basically basically you are testing for three mutations one ihc and one fusion yes so five markers beside yes. your mmr and msi when will you close the ileostomy discharge uh, sir after completion of uh, that uh, adjuvant therapy